Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Elleris contacts for Facebook lead athletes. So here I've created a Facebook page for my company and to promote my company, I'm running a Facebook ad. So in this case, I want whenever a new lead is received, automatically with the lead details, a new contact should be created in my Elleris account. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process, our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Alorus. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Alorus contact for new Facebook lead ads leads. So here I'm running a Facebook page for my company which is named as Pabli Connect and to promote my company, I'm running a Facebook ad. So in this case, I want whenever a new lead is received, automatically using that lead details, a new contact should be created in my LRS account. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. So here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. Now in this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create Alaris contact for Facebook lead ad leads. And now I'm going to select my folder as contacts. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instant. So that whenever a new lead is generated, instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. And now to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Facebook lead ads account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I'm going to select my Facebook account. And authorization successful. Now here after building the successful connection moving forward, here it is asking me to select my page. So here I'm going to search for my page which is named as Pabli Connect. And now after selecting the page, here it is asking me to select the lead gen form. So here in my meta business suit, you can see all the lead ads form which I've created for my use. You can create your own form as per your need. So now moving back to Pabli window. Here I'm going to select my lead gen form as new form. So here I've selected a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect, then you can select all lead gen forms. Now moving forward, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see after clicking on save and send test request, it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a trigger response, we need to do a test submission and to do a test submission, we need to generate a new lead. So for that, let me take you to Meta for Developers. So this is the homepage of Meta for Developers. From here, I'm going to click on this more and from here, I'm going to select tools. Now here under developer tools, I'm going to select lead ads RTO debug tool. Now here in lead ads testing tool, I need to select my page and my form. So here I'm going to select my page as Pabli Connect and then I'm going to select my form as new form. And now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So here I've entered a dummy data where I've entered first name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy123 at the rate pablitudes.com, a random phone number and city as Mumbai. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's move back to our Pabli window. 
and here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received first name, last name, email, phone number, city and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now let's move to action step. Here I'm going to select my action application as a Loris and my action event as create a contact. And now to connect my Loris with Pabli Connect here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your LRS account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. Now here to build a new connection, it is asking for authorization and organization ID. So following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my LRS account. From here I'm going to click on my profile and from here I'm going to select user profile. Now here under user profile, you can see we have received a API key option. So here I'm going to reset this key. And then I'm going to click on this create new key and then I'm going to copy this API key moving back to Pabli window. Here I'm going to enter the API key but following the instructions given below here I'm going to write the token first then space and then I'm going to paste the API key. And now here for organization ID let me take you back to my LRS account. From here I'm going to select my organization and then from left side corner we have to select settings and here under settings I'm going to select organization. And here you can see I have successfully received the organization ID. So here I'm going to copy this moving back to Pabli window and here I'm going to paste the organization ID. Now after, now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on the save and now we are successfully connected. So now moving forward. So now it is asking for first name. So instead of entering data manually, here I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here we will map the data from the response we have received in our Facebook lead ads. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically this previously existing lead details will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the first name. Moving forward, here I'm going to map the last name. Moving forward here this company, profession and other fields are not required. So here I'm going to leave them blank. If But if you want to add any other details then you can do it as per your need. Moving forward. Here for default texts I'm going to turn on this map button and leave it blank. Moving forward. Again these fields are not required so here I'm going to leave them blank. But if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need. Moving forward. And now here I'm going to enter the email. So here I'm going to search for the email. Moving forward and now it is asking for email is primary. So here in instructions you can see it says enter true if primary false otherwise. So here I'm going to enter the value as true. Moving forward here I'm going to map the phone number and again for the phone primary here I'm going to enter the value as true. Now here I'm done mapping all the details and now I'm going to click on save and send this request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have successfully received the ID. That means this entire process was successful. So now let's go and check our LRS account. And here you can see under contacts, we have created a new contact with the name dummy user and email address as dummy123 at the rate publitudes.com. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to generate a new lead. And for that, let me take you back to my lead ads testing tool. So here in lead ads testing tool, I need to delete my previous lead in order to create a new one. Because it says you can create one lead per form, you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here I'm going to click on this delete lead. And then I'm going to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. Now again here I'm going to select my page which is Pabli Connect and then I'm going to select my form and now to submit a new lead I'm going to click on this preview form. So now again here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So for the first name here I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as user, email as testuser at the rate pablitudes.com, a random phone number and city as a Jamesh. And now I'm going to click on this next and then submit. And here you can see it says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go and check our LRS account again. Here I'm going to refresh this window. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact with the name test user. Email as test user at the rate pablitudes.com. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as LRS. So that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically using that details, a new contact will be created in our LRS account. 
If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.